Howdy. Today I'm reviewing the last Creo that I have, Ratchet. I don't plan on picking up any more after this. Sorry folks. Being the medic, see if you can guess what Ratchet's vehicle model is. If I were to compare this ambulance to any of his counterparts, it'd have to be the live-action movie character. This strongly resembles the Hummer H2 design he had in all three movies. At least, I think it does. But it sports the classic white and red combo, instead of that puke green that Movie Ratchet got saddled with. Yuck. Size-wise, he's definitely larger than Bumblebee, but he doesn't feel much bigger than Jazz, despite the difference in price. This will change drastically when I rebuild all of these into robots. For features, you can plug the Creon driver onto his seat by removing the windshield and roof piece. These doors at the rear open and close. This stretcher can be held by any Creon, and it stores nicely inside the ambulance. Finally, these clips up top allow you to store four of the eight black tools at any one time. The only drawback to this mode is that there are a ton of leftover pieces here, one of which isn't used on either model if you follow the instructions. Otherwise, this ambulance not only looks great, it has a lot of play value. Ratchet's robot model, while not perfect, is leaps and bounds above the other two. For one thing, his proportions are much better, and his arms and legs actually look like arms and legs with the simple inclusion of fists and knees. Words cannot express how poseable Ratchet is compared to Jazz and Basic Bumblebee. Told you, no words needed. It's the ball jointed shoulders, hinged knees, and the position of the ball jointed hips that do it justice. These improvements are to be expected given the higher number of parts this has, and even then, it's only a few of these that make all the difference. Yet somehow, the instructions still manage to leave three pieces off when building this model. I've used this white grill shaped block to fill in this gap in his chest, and I've plugged the remaining two red panels on his back. Ratchet's design, or at least his head, is based on some of his comic book depictions, if only because of the red monobrow. Creon Ratchet, on the other hand, is a clear miniaturization of his old school counterpart. I think the helmet cavity is larger than it should be because I accidentally pressed all the way down and now it's covering his optics. You have him, and you have the driver, of course. Ratchet has his own little gun. Either one can hold most of the black tools. They're all too small for Creo Ratchet, though. Shame he didn't come with his own accessory. Apart from that, Ratchet is easily the best of the Creo trio here. Even if you're into this line for the Creons only, this is one of the models that may actually appeal to you. Next I'm reviewing some more Cyberverse figures. Until then, till all are one.